Hey guys, my name is Mikey. Welcome into my garage. Recently I posted a video that uh, I had pretty nice to crash at the racetrack on a Tuesday. Uh, if you haven't seen it, click up there, you can find it, uh, the video about the, about the crash itself and the damages to the bike and my injuries. And today I would like to talk about the protection, uh, not that kind of a protection, but the racetrack protection. Uh, I have in front of me the things which I wore uh, at the track, so uh, we can take a closer look at the helmet, at the gloves, at the, boot, at the boots, how they sustain damage, what happened to them, and for you it might be uh, helpful in the future to take a look at these brands and probably kind of think about it, what kind of level of protection you need for the track. We need here uh, AJC uh, helmet, which is kind of like a road sport to use helmet. Uh, with the crash, my first impact was to the back. I kind of landed on my back, on my hip, but I also hit my back of the head, which you can see the impact uh, right here on the helmet. So uh, you can see the scratches, on the on the back side of the helmet, uh, there is multiple layers of uh, clear varnish, uh, the paint, the the kind of you know uh, the structure of the helmet. It goes all the way down. Uh, the scratch is going all the way down to the basic paint. The back of the helmet pretty much sustained the damage uh, from sliding and from the impact. So uh, there was main area of the damage of the helmet. Then I kind of, when I landed on the back, I started roll, to roll on the racetrack. It started to slide and roll. So uh, then I felt the sliding and, and, and scratching on my right hand side of the leather suit. And then I kind of rolled face down. So then this kind of uh, damage happened. So then I kind of uh, rolled over and my face was sliding across the track that's where the damage of the uh, front plexi happened also on this side so uh, really close impact with the pavement I would say so this impact was from sliding as you can see a lot of scratches at the top of the helmet which goes kind of with the scratching on the front plexi on the front visor and this side you can see another hit. So the helmet on its own uh, got beaten up pretty, pretty good. Uh, got a hit from all the sides. Uh, so uh, yeah, AJC, uh, really satisfied with it. Uh, it's not specifically restaurant oriented. It's kind of like a street race, I would say, street sporty, but held up pretty good. Still, everything works as it should. So, uh, pretty satisfied with the helmet. Let's go to the gloves. So we have in front of us uh, the gloves, racing gloves, Trull uh, 212, uh, which uh, I wore on the track. And gladly, really, really good protection for my knuckles and for my fingers uh, this type doesn't have a pinky and the ring finger uh, tied together but gladly it wasn't an issue for me uh, when i hit the pavement with my right side i start sliding on the right side so the most damage is actually to the right glove so you can see on the on the pinky torn leather from up part you can see if I compare together the, the texture. If you take a closer look at this uh, softer kind of like protection of the finger, it's totally scraped off. So uh, it really held pretty good. Then you can have more damage to the ring finger uh, from the sliding, also the middle finger. 
and if you take a look at the knuckles this actually gets broken so this carbon fiber protection of the knuckles this gets broken with the hit i guess and then anything everything else is kind of sliding all over the plate and also the whole right hand side uh, is pretty damaged from sliding across the track but held pretty good nothing nothing internal was damaged so no no heat no damage went through the glove my hand is totally fine my hand is totally fine so uh protected my 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 hands really good right hand side is in much better shape you can still see marks after sliding after rolling all over the place so left hand side was scratched pretty good as well knuckles there is pretty big bend uh, over the middle finger knuckle and where is the uh, pointing finger there is also some damage to the knuckles part but other than that the left uh, the left uh, glove is in pretty good shape so yeah it did a really good job I don't have any scratches on my arms on my palm or any other, anywhere else so total 212 gloves really good job Another thing which we have is RST TrackTac uh, boot, uh, TrackTac Evo 3 boot to be exact. Um, as I said before, my right ankle is pretty swollen, so I kind of hit my ankle and it kind of twisted. It didn't twist it, you know, inside or, or like that, so uh, that was caused due to the protection which RST boots offer. You have a joint here on the ankle, which allows you movement like this for shifting and braking, but doesn't allow like breaking your ankle, which is really good, uh, really track oriented boot. And you can see from that head on the right side and that actually the, the first sliding on the right side of my body, then kind of flipping over, you can see that uh, actually this part kind of gets separated. You can see significant damage to the front slider uh, significant damage to all the way up to the to the heel but this part got pretty much damaged so uh, held pretty good didn't really separate it but you can see the significant damage to the bottom bottom part of the boot inside of the boot pretty okay my 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 feet were pretty much close to, together so nothing really happened to inside the boot, of the boot uh, left hand side of the boot you can see major scratches and burnt places uh, over the ankles and the upper part where my shim is and uh, pretty much damage at the top at the back as well lost the small cover of the joint she happens and then some scratches at the bottom as well the bottom part held pretty good there is no separation on this left hand side so uh yeah the the boot rst uh track tech evo 3 really good uh no no flipping of my ankle no breaking of my ankle i uh, held my feet pretty good so uh i would rate this boot really really high uh really satisfied with protection guys thank you for watching so we went through the boots the helmet and the gloves next time we'll talk about rst leather suit two-piece leather suit so stay tuned and you'll find out more next time so thanks for watching like subscribe and you will not miss my rebuild and my next reviews thanks